Okay. Uh, I uh, went ahead and put the front of my uh, Magnavox back together last weekend. Uh, went ahead and put the got the speaker grills all cleaned up. Got the decorative panels back in. The uh, fake little pull things right there. I painted those up so they're nice and brass looking again. The little uh, the little decorative thing there little decorative thing down there it's hard to see but the actual feet uh, I spray painted those at one time when this thing was new all this had sort of the brass uh, brass colored look to it uh, it was very very tarnished so I just went ahead and uh, spray painted them uh, we got the same little decorative guys over there uh, and it's also got the little pull handles which uh, you open this up you just grab that, slide it open, and slide that one open, and there's the TV back behind it. So, again, TV is not going to be functional. I've said that in just about every video I've posted. Um, so, but it's not, I'm just going to leave everything original the way it is, the picture tube staying in. I thought about removing it and just, you know, leaving it blank and then just leaving the doors kind of shut all the time but you know it's part of the unit it doesn't need to come out and I don't feel like disposing of a CRT so but anyway the only thing is I need to work on these doors a little bit because they're a little loose I think I just need to uh, adjust the doors a little bit I just kind of put them on temporarily just to see how the whole unit's gonna look now which I think looks pretty good um, so yeah, everything, the things are cleaned up, the doors are cleaned up, the little decorative guys are cleaned up, the speaker grills are cleaned up, so uh, everything's just, it's coming along, and uh, here in a few minutes I'll show you the back, I put most of it back together already, um, I just went ahead and I still have the radio chassis, uh, I need to cap so pretty much when I show you the back I'll explain in the back but pretty much the only thing I have left is to recap the radio chassis and then just put the chassis back in uh, I already went ahead and put the face plate back in along with the uh, the TV tuner again it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything but it's just more or less there for show and uh, I don't know if you can see it but these little buttons here these control the record player they will turn the unit on and off and if the TV worked it would change the channel too with the remote so but I just put all that back uh, I couldn't do much with this face plate um, it's a little faded here and there I didn't want to do much to it because I was afraid that I would either discolor it or all the remainder of the uh, the lettering would come off and I just look kind of kind of silly uh, but as you can tell this brass piece right here, it's hard to see in the video, but this brass piece right here was the color of the original little decorative poles on the front. So I got them as close as I could with what I could what I could find. And then there's kind of the, the record player I still got to work on. Uh, there's one of the woofers. I'll get a better picture of those in a minute when I get to the back. But the record player's still out. I still got to service it. But it, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. My biggest goal is just to get the radio going for right now. And now that I got pretty much everything put back together, um, I guess it's hard to see on the side here, but it's the same thing. Yeah, you can't really see it. But the speakers are back, put back in the the decorative little grills again I almost thought about leaving those little decorative grills out but uh, I figure they go with the unit and the one I can't remember which side it was one of those I actually cleaned tried some cleaner on and it really did not do very well actually whichever side it was I can't remember turned the entire decorative part of that completely white 
Um, I thought I ruined them, to be honest. But what happened was it was just the uh, the chemical, or I'm sorry, the cleaner just dried like really quick on that, and I was able to get some uh, get some like finish stuff, the same stuff I finished the cabinet with, and some steel wool and a toothbrush, and I was able to bring all that back to pretty much its original uh, original color. It's still off a little bit. But compared to compared to what it looked like, I think I have the front of this on the very first video. Uh, and what's really neat with this unit is uh, I didn't realize it until I took these doors off. The uh, since it has the front firing uh, uh, horns, the doors here actually have holes in them. You can't. I, you might be able to see through here. So when this is actually open and you're actually watching TV, the horns will still fire through this grill as well. And of course the same thing on this side too. Uh, so that was just kind of a clever thing Magnavox did back then. Because nothing worse than if you want to watch the TV and you have these open and you can't hear anything through the front speakers or the front horns because they're blocked. So. Come on, focus here. Uh, but Magnavox did a very good job with planning ahead as far as making sure that these things have holes in them. So you can see. Again, I gotta adjust these doors a little bit. So, but anyway, this thing's coming along just fine. Um, I actually cannot wait to get it rocking and rolling again. But, again, it's going to take a little bit of time. So, anyway, uh, I guess that's it for the front. I will just, I'll go ahead and uh, here in a second, I'll take a movie of the back. Right, looking at the back, as you can tell, I've made some pretty good progress. Um, I slowly but surely starting to put this thing back together. Uh, as you can tell, the uh, the woofer's in. Back there is the, uh, let me get some light back there. Right there's the horn, and then uh, the remote control assembly. That's what controls the channels and the record player reject and everything. Along with uh, all the wires, I've cleaned up. Didn't replace any, just cleaned them up. Uh, just kind of wire tied them in a little bit, make it look a little neater. Uh, I still have yet to recap the radio chassis. That's pretty much the only thing I have left to do major um like i said pretty much everything all the wires are cleaned up i got them all kind of organized and whatnot i got the uh tv chassis back in uh and again not hooked up actually all the uh all this mess right here is just kind of wire tied out of the way that's the uh the uh, uh part of the wires the plug onto the back of this, the uh, convergence boards up there, along with the uh, can't really see it back there, but the uh, the red, green, and blue little thumb wheel dealies. I can't think of what they are off the top of my head right now. Uh, those are just all kind of wire tied out of the way, just to kind of give it a uh, good keep it out of the way. Everything's kind of secure because this thing will probably be moved around a couple of times. And I don't want all those wires flying everywhere. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's slowly but surely coming along. Um, so yeah, it's uh, oh, I guess I can get to the other side here. I have still, I still have to uh, wire up all the speakers again. The uh, pile of wires are sitting pretty much right there for right now. I'm going to uh, once I get the radio chassis put back in, I will go ahead and. Uh, wire up everything the way it was. I have to uh, put some caps in the uh, in the uh, crossover because I actually found out one of those was bad, and I'm pretty sure that's why my left channel was muffled pretty good. So I got ordered some of those. Those should be here soon. Um, but yeah, here's the other side. I got the woofer back in. I got the horn back in. Went ahead and replaced the. Let's see if I can get 
get over here. I went ahead and replaced the RCA cables that run from the record player over to the chassis because the other ones were just, they were falling apart. They were brittle. So I just went ahead and just ran some new ones over once I get the chassis back in. Radio chassis. So yeah, there's a kind of a better shot of the uh, convergence board wiring and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, anyway, it's, uh, it's coming along. Like I said, the only thing really I have left to do is to recap the, the radio chassis, which uh, should be doing here for too long. So, anyway, it's coming along. It's, like I said, it's a slow go. I'm in no hurry, really, to get this thing going. So, so anyway, hopefully next time I videotape this, I should have the radio chassis recapped and I should have it in and possibly hopefully fingers crossed the uh, maybe I'll have it up and playing uh, I still have yet to work on the record player that'll probably come later I'm I really don't have that many records to really worry about um, but eventually I'll get to the record player it's not that big a deal just to drop the thing back in and just plug it in get it going so anyway thanks for uh watching and uh, i'll uh hopefully uh for too long i'll have another video posted